I guess we'll bring it back to body count really quick and then we'll wrap up on this other thing. So a lot of you, you said body count doesn't matter. You said body count doesn't matter. Sydney, Michaela, your thoughts? Uh, I think this is <clears throat> very, I think it's tough because I've been thinking about this for like the last couple of days now and trying to get like the right answer. And honestly, I can't really, my conclusion is that I think that it does matter because I personally don't feel like it's anyone's business. Like that's where my head goes. Like I don't want to share that number, whether it's high or low, like no matter what, like that's my personal business. And if I decide to be with somebody sexually and they ask, I will be honest with them. But that's not something I'm going to like openly walk around telling people. She kind of said exactly how I feel, honestly. That's why, like, I've never said it on this show, and I don't plan to. Like, there's just why. Why does it matter? I, well, I thought you said. I like, thought you said body count. It does matter because it does it's matter. Like, that's why I'm saying it's like it's confusing the way to answer it because it's like it matters because like you know that it, it matters does to matter. other people. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And they're gonna you, judge you, but like it also. But you doesn't, think it shouldn't matter? Is that do I have I that right? I don't think that a person should be judged on their body count and mm -hmm. unfortunately society judges people based on that number no matter if it's low or high well i agree with you there that people are judged um on their body count mm -hmm. if it's low or if it's high mm -hmm. so sydney your take yeah exactly what she said honestly and i'm also like right now i'm also interested <clears throat> in doing like like, I've thought about doing, like, a year of celibacy to kind of, like, keep myself on track and, like, just... I'm doing celibacy right now. Yeah, that's something I'm interested in, but I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I love that sound. So, you guys are doing a year of celibacy? Not a year, no. I'm a very sexual person, like, <laughs> I, but I'm not, like, I'm not going to give... the cow. What do you mean? Like, about what? About the celibacy thing. No, I am. I haven't when's, had sex. When's the last time you had sex? In... A fortnight? A month. January 1st was the last time I had sex. I wasn't, that's not, I suppose for some people so that, my, that's a long time. Goal, it is, it's a long time because I was in a relationship. Yeah. And we had sex all the time. Right. And it was like, whenever I wanted to, I could have just have, we could just have sex. Sing, but now oh. it's not like that. I'm single and I feel, this is just personally has nothing to do like with any, like everyone's different. But sure. for me, I feel like sex is such a huge energy exchange and I don't want to give my energy away like that to just anyone. So I you're doing like a year of celibacy. I am not doing a year. Oh. I am starting off at four months and or three months. I said three months, and then if it lasts longer, then great. If if I find somebody who like I actually feel, you know, deserves, I guess, or like who I want to have sex with, then like. I'll break that, but I'm going three months no matter what. Like, I just really want to take the time to focus on myself, and I have some things that I need to, like, work on to become a better person. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, no strings attached, unless I'm pretty sure we got your super chat. Um, yeah, we said it. Yeah, we talked about it actually for quite a while, so I don't know if you missed that, but unless we missed a different one, um, you'll have to let us know if it was the 300K one. Sydney, you're celibate for how long? Um, yeah, no, honestly, I kind of, like, I thought about doing, like, this year of celibacy, but I do like the idea of just being celibate until I do find someone that I want to be with. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily looking for a relationship right now, but mm -hmm. I don't know, like, having sex is an intimate thing, and it always kind of leaves me feeling unfulfilled at the end because, mm -hmm. like, there's no, like, emotional connection, so I'm kind of just waiting for I that emotional connection. Before I'm also a huge, again. I'm a yeah. simp, so I'll catch feelings yeah. real quick. <laughs> I mean, I, I, just, I just don't like the feeling, like, I am in college, you know, I'm 22. I don't like the feeling, like, at UCSB, like, everybody is sex, sex, sex. And I don't like the feeling of just, like, a, like, 15-minute, like, hookup, and then they just, like, dip out the room. Like, that is not cuddle. enjoyable for me. <laughs> and I'd rather wait until I can have that, like, you know? I don't know. Not necessarily, like, a boyfriend, but I'm just kind of figuring it out right now okay i see uh, no strings attached i do i do see you're missing super chat here um it must have been when i went up to go to the bathroom I, like, I sent a second one yeah hold on um i said that you read this one yeah hold on it's 
I believe it's this one. Uh, I think wait. we said this. I don't think we did. No, no, no. Uh, no, we didn't. If men all stopped watching tomorrow, the whole industry would collapse. Kazumi, you are bugging if you think they pay because they want to support your art. Trust me, men would not pay if they were slaying. I don't know. Do you have an OnlyFans account? No. So I don't think you would know. <laughs> the, the thing is, is just to really touch on that quickly. If men were, were getting women, they would not be consuming OnlyFans at the, the rate that they are. I we already had this discussion. Yeah. I know. We already we're discussed already it, but you mentioned it again. All right, we have uh, Andre Colbin. If I think it's the parents' faults for men, we women. It. We saw it. We, said we did this, this one. We did this one, but I also think that you that like the point was skipped over. Like, like it was you guys went and talked about body count, but you didn't talk about like the 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 point he's trying to make is he thinks that it's the parents' fault for men or women having a high body count. I don't really understand it. I I do. Yeah, let, well, I we'll, mean, when you grow up and you we talked about it a little a little bit, but when you when you okay no go ahead go ahead when you have um, parents or when you have parents that are maybe single parents or they are very much more open to their sexuality than you know most people are most parents are then I feel like it could be different like uh, the child could grow up thinking about sex differently. I don't think the parents have anything to do with it because I came from a really Catholic household where sex was like literally talking about the devil and I still ended up the way that I am. So, you know, I don't, I, I don't think the environment that you're raised in has anything to do with it. Well, but like also, because I, I get where you're coming, like I understand where you're coming from 100%. And I also have a friend who was told that, you know, same thing, sex is this, this, and you want to like not have sex with... In, whatever and um because of that it was like they were kind of m even more tempted as opposed to being in a in a family that's neutral on it or doesn't like shame you about it and then you grow up and you just have your own opinion on what sex is to you well that's just it right i think that as parents well as children you know you as a ch as someone oh my god words when you are being raised in a household, your parents will obviously project and install you with certain values, but ultimately I do think that it is up to you as an individual whether you carry those values with you into adulthood mm -hmm. or if you exercise them in your everyday life. So, you know, maybe somebody comes from a single parent home. My, pa my parents have, have always been married, never divorced. Um, you know, different situations. <clears throat> That's just a value I chose to not live with myself because it felt very, like, not me. You know what I mean? So I think so I think it really is just up to the individual and how they carry themselves and what they what values they deem what values they decide to carry into their life. Did you did like when you were when would you say you because up to a certain age, you like believed everything that your parents said. Right. Mm -hmm. And so how old do you think that you were when you started to form your own values and opinions on things? Probably like 14. OK. And then. Can I ask you when you lost your virginity or when you like started to? The most I had ever, I, I still didn't really do anything like that. I mostly, my opinions are mostly about like God and how I just really don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of the sexual activity oh, wow. that I had has actually been in like the last year or two. Wow. Good times. <laughs> yeah. Good times, Ooh. good times. Okay, so we need to just touch on a few things here before uh, we wrap up. So. Let me get the soup chat. Yo, Derek, good to see you in the chat, man. Welcome back. Uh, control your body count. P control, can't spell it, will block me. He said psi control, P-S-Y control oh, in a chat okay. earlier. I still was confused. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yo, Derek, thank you for the support, man. Love you. You got a killer beard, by the way, Myron. <laughs> All right, so I meant to bring this up sooner, but we, we kind of got into a heated moment there, and I, I 